Do you need help getting through the event to get those sweet, sweet Stellar Jade? Don't worry, I got you. Here is my guide on each level of the event. All right, we're going to do the first level. I already did this one, so I'm just going to be voicing over this. So, you know, if it, things don't match up, it's because of that. Uh, I In this round, I used the Fire Trailblazer, Serval, March 7th, and Natasha, if I remember correctly. Yes, that is correct. And so we're going to start off. This one should honestly be pretty easy, straightforward. You kind of want to attack all of them simultaneous simultaneous oh my god why can i say the word simultaneously because the, the other side enemies when they are killed they explode and they cause damage to the main person so you kind of want to tangently get all of them all at once so that's why i'm using serval serval will just attack all of them and see already great damage we're gonna quickly kill this dude off. Yeah, this one shouldn't be too hard. Straightforward. Um, I highly recommend this team comp. It's pretty uh, friendly, free to play friendly. And yeah. That's such a cool animation. All right, that's the first level. Let's get on to the next one. All right, so in this one, limited firepower, we're probably going to be using the same team. But instead of using Natasha, I included Ching Chu. Ching Chi? I still don't know how to pronounce her name right, but you, you could always still use Natasha here, but for healing purposes, but Honestly, it should have been too hard if you are world level 2, but, you know, if you do struggle, just add Natasha into the team instead. I love using her. I love her gambling thing. I, I, I know it's bad, but like, it's just so fun to use. I see her in a lot of tier lists um, showing up as lower tier, which I don't think she is that bad. I can, I can see why, but... I mean, I love using her. You see, my Fire Trailblazer died, but it's okay. You know, it's gonna be quick. One thing to note within these levels is you have to defeat them be uh, within two turns. Two full team rotation turns. So, you know, always be quick, always ca be causing damage, and you should be fine. Alright, that's that one. Next one is going to be the... Felina? Felina? Oh, I don't even know how to say the thing name. All right, so we're gonna take out Ching Chi and not add Natasha. Like I said earlier, adding Natasha is always great for healing purposes. And I guess in this one, I switched over to a Fire Trailblazer. And yeah, I, I think that's good to go. All right, so in this level, we have the Void Void Ranger. Oh, the oh, Stormbringer. I forgot that was the name, the Stormbringer. Honestly, this guy is a little more difficult, but it still shouldn't be too bad. With this team comp, we should be able to defeat this pretty easily. You know, I always want to cause damage with the fire and the ice units. That's your main way of destroying their shield. So always be using them for damage purposes. Natasha, if you need healing, but like focus on that specifically. Serval is just there to take out the side units. But for the most part, you only really need ice and fire. If you don't have Serval, I mean, you, the Serval you get, automatically get. But if you have Petra, Petra also works here too. And we should be about done. Okay, that didn't kill her. Okay, there you go. Trailblazer is actually really good, especially in the beginning. So I use her in a lot of team comps. All right, so now we have the Contagious Psych Bomb. 
This is mostly going to be just units, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, I think the only ones... Uh, yeah, so these are shield enemies, so when it's their turn, they like to use the shield so that um, they have, like, they reflect damage. Like a counter. They have a counter. So if you attack them while they have the shield up, they will counter. So sometimes I'll just attack them, you know, knowing that it'll cause damage to me if it, you know, removes their shield faster. But yeah, here, as you see, I now include Petra just for that additional ice damage towards the guard enemies. So I highly recommend adding her if you have her, but if you don't have Petra, um, you could always use the other ice unit. I'm forgetting her name now. Let me quickly... What's her name? Uh... Oh, not Petra. Pela. Why do I... Why did my brain think Pela was Petra? Anyway, sorry. If you don't have, um... If you don't have Pela, Pila, Pila, then I would go for Yanxing if you have that 5 star. Or if you don't, I would highly recommend Herda. Herda's like not amazing, but she is an alternative and she does give you that AoE damage. So highly, if you don't have uh, Pila, then use Herda. Herda, I believe you also get free, so it should be fine. All right, the next one we have is free stay still. Here we're gonna be using, uh, da, da, we're probably yeah, Pila and March seventh are probably units I'm gonna be using for the most part in these next levels. Um, we got Serval back and Natasha for that lightning damage. Ooh, that's a good damage. This one should be pretty quick. It seems like oh yep, yeah, this one's pretty easy. Their shields go down pretty quickly. Alright! Nice! Okay! And now for the last round. Over here we have... It's my turn! This is the one that just came out. And I finally able to do it! Um, instead of using... Herda... I just used Hila, but you could, again, interchange those two units. It's completely fine. There's no issue with that. You just need another ice unit. Honestly, even if you don't have an additional ice unit, just have another thunder unit. Either of those two should be fine. You just need a double of the weakness element to uh, destroy their shields quickly and destroy them. All right, yeah, this seems to be going pretty quickly. I'm I'm surprised in this round that Pila was able to get multiple rounds. When I was going through it, I went through it like a couple of times because I just couldn't understand why she was going that quickly. And it might have been the artifacts I had on her or the gear, but um, yeah, she was, it, it worked out pretty fine. All right, this should be a quick, easy win. Burst. And yeah, that one's down. The last one, I think it should be destroyed in either Natasha's turn. Oh, that, there you go. We're good. There you go. That's how you defeat all levels of the Star Flare event. Stellar Flare event. <laughs> All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this. See you in my next video. Bye-bye. And please subscribe if you can.